Richard Southern joins us now on this Tuesday for a day for a look at the day's top business stories. Hey, Richard. Janella, how do you do today? Not too bad. So since you're working from home, you get to avoid dealing with transportation to work. And those who do have to go to work may be avoiding the, the TTC, uh, public transport. And now one ride sharing service is filling that void. Yeah, this is interesting. You know, mom used to always say, you know, good things come to those who wait, Janella. And Lyft is hoping to use that old saying is maybe a, a bit of a selling point. Lyft is bringing a pilot program here to the GTA that gives customers lower rides if they agree to wait longer for their pickup. So mm -hmm. riders that have the Lyft app will see a new option on it called Wait and Save. If you click that, you may have to wait anywhere up to 40 minutes for your driver to come by. However, you're going to pay a, a lower fare. The option comes after Lyft was uh, forced to scrap its share ride uh, program because of COVID-19. So if you're not in a hurry, Janella, you might want to select that and save a couple of bucks. I mean, if you know what time you're going to be heading out, maybe hit the app an hour before, get ready and save a couple of bucks. Not a bad deal. These uh, ride-sharing companies have been hurting because people are taking less rides these days with the pandemic. So we'll see how this shakes out. Okay, lots of companies hurting. We know small businesses are struggling to stay afloat amid the pandemic and even some pretty big names as well. Yeah, uh, Norwegian Cruise Lines today said its balance sheet is uh, well underwater, shall we say. Norwegian said it literally may go out of business. In a filing with the U.S. SEC, the company says its accounting firm has substantial doubt about its ability to continue as a going concern because of the pandemic. Norwegian says advanced bookings for the remainder of the year are, as they put it, meaningfully lower than last year. No surprise there. Of course, the cruise industry has been decimated. Uh, Norwegian stock tumbled on Wall Street today. We also heard uh, from Hertz Rental Car. Now, Hertz is a legendary rental car company. You know, they started in 1907 renting out 12 Model T cars, but they are struggling right now, uh, facing potential bankruptcy. The company today, though, did strike a deal with its lenders to give it more time to perhaps avoid a bankruptcy. We'll keep an eye on what's going on with Hertz Rental Car. Finally, it's a local uh, company we're familiar with here. Henry's Camera started in Toronto in 1909. Uh, Henry says it doesn't have enough money to pay its creditors. It, too, blaming the pandemic, which has forced it to close its brick-and-mortar stores. Toronto Star reports Henry's owes more than $24 million to a wide variety of creditors. It's tough going, Janella, for wow. all sorts of businesses. Yeah, really tough. I guess Henry's also relies on a lot of rentals. People rent equipment for shoots, uh, photography, all these kinds of things. And if there's no events or anything going on, no rentals, right? Good point. Yeah, tough. Okay, we saw the price of oil enter negative territory for the first time last month. But now we're seeing a steady recovery. Yeah, it was only two weeks ago we were talking about negative 37 bucks per barrel. Yeah. Well, since then, there's been a big comeback for Texas tea. The price today up to almost $25 per barrel. Uh, it's been higher for uh, like it's seven straight days, one of the longest runs we've seen in months here. There are signs that the big drop off in demand is easing as more businesses start to restart their operation. Of course, this means we're going to be paying a little bit more for gas. The price here in the GTA Janela set to go up two pennies at midnight tonight. I hope everyone tunes back just a little bit after 6.30. You and I are, are coming back with a wild story. A, a big Hollywood star is going to outer space to shoot a movie. NASA has confirmed it. We have the out-of-this-world details just after 6.30, Janela. Can't wait, Richard. We'll talk to you then. Thanks.